All right, welcome back to the channel. So Tiafimo Lopez says that he can knock out Gervonta Davis, Devin Haney, uh, Jose Ramirez, and Josh Taylor. Uh, can take all of them out and also responds to criticism that about him relative to the guys in his own weight class. Very interesting topic, very interesting things that he said. Let's discuss that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're going to talk about the lightweight division. The lightweight division is pretty much between 135 pounds at the limit all the way down to 130.1 pounds in, uh, you know, not the minimum, you know, for the maximum for the weight class below, right? And it is one of the feature weight classes in boxing. There are three, uh, well, what are I think there's seven or eight original weight classes of those original weight classes, the most significant is heavyweight, probably followed by welterweight, then middleweight, then lightweight. Um, and some people might say that lightweight might trump uh, middleweight from time to time, but pretty much that's it. Top guys are the heavyweights because they're the biggest of the big guys. The biggest of the little guys are the 104 or the 135 pounders, and then that middleweight divisions that stuff is 135, 147 because you go from 147 right up to 160. Now, anyway. Those are the um, those are the pr pretty much the importance of the lightweight division. And Tiafimo Lopez, who is the WBA champion, the IBF champion, the WBO champion, and the WBC franchise champion, has to be considered the man and at 135 pounds. Now, I have always tried my best to give um, Tiafimo Lopez credit for what he's done, but not go overboard with it to the extent that I really do steal. Um, the credit that is due to other fighters, right? So Tiafimo Lopez ha is, is not deaf, right? And is somebody, he and his father, somebody from what I can see that directly address critics and address criticisms. They're constantly in, uh, you know, out in the media, giving interviews, expressing their opinion, right? So he says he's asked in this lead up for the fight between he and George Cambosos, which is going to be on Triller. He talks about what he wants to do and how right now he would love to fight. You know, he, he wants to fight Gervonta Davis and Devin Haney, and he thinks that he can knock, knock these guys out and get them out of there and it won't be a problem, right? Now, is that possible? I really do believe that that is possible. I don't think that it is probable with, with, with Gervonta Davis, but I do think that it is very, very possible, and I'm not going to discredit what this guy with this, you know, this guy's angle on it or necessarily call him a duck artist or any of those type of things, man. However, I will say that there that there is a necessity for sure for Devin, for uh, Tiafimo Lopez to actually fight the fights that he's talking about. First guy is with Devin Haney. Uh, you know, there's the concept of a champion, right? And saying, hey, man, I have a bunch of championships. I don't care how many belts you have. You can have four or five different belts but you're just a champion, right? You are a champion and you have multiple championship belts. Being a guy that holds three championship belts does not mean that you're the best guy in that division if you've not fight, fought the guy that has the other one, right? Perfect case in point is what is what's goes on in the heavyweight division with that mockery of a conversation between Anthony Joshua fans and Deontay Wilder fans, right? They, we have the most belts and we have the IBO. It's like, man, so what? Get out of here. You ducked up out of the WBC rankings and fought for vacant belts against against B minus level heavyweights. You knocked them out. You look terrific. But, you know, whatever. Just you having that one belt, you having that, those three belts don't trump my one. You're a champion. I'm a champion. And until you beat me, it, you know, it is what it is. So even though so Devin Haney has something to say about whether or not Tiafimo Lopez really is the man at 135. And that's because Devin Haney held the same belt that Vasily Lomachenko had. And that's just a fact. That is something that, and I don't care who it was that made that decision. It could have been Lomachenko. It could have been uh, Bob Arum. It could have been a, an agreement between Bob Arum and Lomachenko. Or it could have just been the WBC just pulling, out of their, pulling it out of their backside just because, you know, I don't know, it's Tuesday. Let's do something dumb, right? That type of thing. I don't care what it is. The actual belt that the Lomachenko had that he won in of that vacant fight with um, 
uh, Luke Campbell and then was held before that, I do believe, by Mikey Garcia, right? And I do believe that before that, it might have been held by uh, Zata Clannon, whatever the lineage of that is. That WBC, that WBC belt that was with Mikey Garcia and that passed forward is the one that Devin Haney has right now. So that franchise belt is not very much respect. It's not respected in the boxing world. It's one of these future off in the dream type of nonsense exceptions that Bob Aaron makes to stuff to just to get done what he wants to get done, which is to make the fights that he wants them have made and not fights that he doesn't want to have made pure and simple. So Devin Haney has that belt, that WBC belt. That's a fight that Teofimo Lopez should have. And the fact that he acknowledges and says that he wants to do it, I applaud it. But the reason that I talk about it so much is because I want you all to understand it because trust me, there's a whole bunch of people out there that want anything but, anything but for these guys to actually have these fights. And that guy's name is Bob Arum. But I think that there's a possibility that we might be able to slip that nonsense because of the fact that uh, Tiafimo Lopez is doing is dealing with tr Triller. But also, take it to the Gervonta Davis thing. Gervonta Davis, it's the same thing, right? Uh, Tiafimo Lopez previously had been a little, you know, iffy on whether or not he was going to try to p press for the Gervonta Davis fight, presumably because of financial reasons, right? That, that Tiafimo Lopez believes he has all the belts, but in, in actuality, when you count that paper coming out, it's Gervonta Davis that is the big money guy. So, there was issues there and whether or not Floyd Mayweather Jr. wants to deal, you know, wants to actually deal with Bob Arum. But, you know, those are legitimate. Those are legitimate things. If we're trying to make that weight division right, those are legitimate things that need to happen. All at the same time, man, saying that Tiafimo Lopez, because of, of the belts that he has, is definitely the man as far as between the champions. You have to give him the leg up as being the number one guy in the division. However, being the number one guy in the division, because you have the most belts, dude, that doesn't make that doesn't mean that you're the best. Like I said before, you you actually have to have the fights. Those belts are cheap and they print so they they manufacture so many of them that it's just like it for really hardcore boxing fans, it's like we almost don't care about those belts. You know what I mean? So um the belts are cheap. Uh there's a guy that really, shoot, Lomachenko deserves a rematch over there. So and, and the way that that Lomachenko fight went, man, I think Lomachenko, if he would have started a little earlier and if he was definitely three years younger, he would have won that fight, man. And he could have actually stopped, um, stopped Tiafimo Lopez. That fight deserves a rematch, right? So there you still have Lomachenko in that scenario. And I do believe he's about to fight Nakatani, which is, you know, wow, that's going to be a wild fight with a guy between Lomachenko and a guy that tall. So, but those are just really, you know, fights that you need to have. So, and again, there is the fact that, you know, Devin Haney has that belt. So all in all, Devin Haney, excuse me, uh, Tiafimo Lopez, I like this kid a lot, man. I really like what he's done with, with Triller and the fact that he got his money from Bob Arum and that, you know, his father was, you know, was, was, um, was I guess, for lack of a better word, he was conscious about his decisions and very, very, and, and had foresight into what he was doing. And now that he's independent to the extent that he is, and he has options with Triller to make these fights, right? I like the attitude that he has about actually, you know, acknowledging, you know, the need for him to have them. So anyway, that's my take on the matter. You let me know what you think. And with that, I'm out. Peace.